Because we are heroes. Because brown is beautiful too. Big dreams really do come in all sizes. Everything I wish I had when I was 16. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dana L. Davis and I'm the author of Tiffany Sly Lives Here Now. Hey there, I'm Alex Kaler and I'm the author of Moonbinder. Hi, my name is Sandra Mitchell and I'm the editor of All Out, the no longer secret stories of queer teens throughout the ages. Hi, I'm Kelly DeVos, the author of Fat Girl on a Plane, coming June 5th from Harlequin Teen. Tiffany Sly is the story of 16-year-old Tiffany who has just watched her mom lose a battle with cancer. Before her mom dies, she lets Tiffany know that she had a dad she never knew about and that's where Tiffany is going to go live. So the story starts off with Tiffany leaving Chicago all the way to Los Angeles to live with a father that she's never even met before. But the day before she's set to leave, another man shows up claiming he is actually Tiffany's father and Tiffany has seven days before she's required to submit to court-ordered paternity testing. So this story is all about Tiffany's seven days living with a family that might not actually be her family. Runebinder is a post-apocalyptic fantasy series with monsters, magic, and some pretty kick-ass queer protagonists. And I wrote the book because I feel it's way past time that the media showed queer teens as the heroes that they are. I mean, we are often seen as sidekicks or foils, but we're rarely allowed to actually save the world. Which we do. Every day. And in Runebinder, we get to do it with some pretty awesome magical powers. Uh, this is a book of a lot of people's heart. The idea originally came from my agent, Jim McCarthy. Um, he is a gay man living in New York. I am a queer, non-binary, mostly woman living in Indiana. And what we really wanted was to create um, a collection of stories that we would have loved to have had when we were 16. So we asked 17 queer YA authors if they would write the story that they wish they had had when they were 16. When I was a teenager, I really wanted to be a writer, but I was fat. And I thought that the opportunities out there just weren't for me, that I was going to need to lose weight and then life would begin. I didn't know how to go from being a teenager who really let fat phobia dictate who I was and what I did, to being an adult capable of living my best life. One day, I was on my way to a photo shoot in Salt Lake City, and I was told that I had to buy a second seat on the airplane, and it was really humiliating. After that experience, I did a lot of online research, and I kept seeing the same two questions over and over. Fat people saying, how is it okay to treat people like this? And then some thin people saying, well, why can't you just lose weight? And so I thought, okay, here it is. This is what I want to write about. I want to have a book that speaks to those two issues. I wrote this story because I believe brown girls can be heroes too, in a story that's not a stereotype. Tiffany Sly is me, and Tiffany Sly is all of you too. So I hope that you will pick it up and take a look. Just because it's all queer and all out doesn't mean it's not for all of you. Um, because this time, the stories are adventures, they're exciting, uh, they're heartbreaking, they're uh, uplifting, um, and you know, this time, the queer kids are in charge. I hope that you love it, and remember, you're the hero that the world's been waiting for.